I am, and we'll get to that in just a second. First, I want to show you some of this damage that we're seeing. I mean, it, the loss here is just so high, Mecca. We'll take a look at this, this ground. You can see kind of the soot and ash that is out here right now, and then a little bit up here, Ben. You can see this car just completely burnt out right here next to me and higher past this structure. The fire just so hot, you can see that that steel beam holding this place up is completely bent up as well. Now, according to the Guthrie Fire Department, there were no injuries, just two firefighters treated for exhaustion. This Simpson Road fire hit 3,300 acres, and although they haven't been able to count how many structures were damaged, the chief tells us he's seen well over 50 just by himself. Right now, they're just working on keeping any hot spots under control. So far, they've seen some cars, brush piles, and things like that catch, but they've been able to put them out quickly. All the local firefighters who were out here all night have been replaced by county task forces from Lincoln and Kingfisher counties so they could get some rest. Now, they're hoping to get a full count of the damage in the next day or two once they can get everything under control. The Guthrie Fire Chief tells us he's worked many fires, but this one is close to home. Traveling all over the state with our county task force and fighting fires, you know, in all corners of the state, uh, it does hit a lot harder when it's when it's your neighbors here in your own home county. So uh, a lot of these people, like I said, we see them in the store, we see them in the restaurants, coffee shops, and uh, it just it does hit you and strikes a different chord with you. Now we know the high risk for fires could continue in the next week. Guthrie Fire says they're focused on getting everything out right now so that if they're needed, when they're needed next week, they can be ready for that.